Hello, and welcome to another exciting edition of Telco Steve's Workbench. Woo woo! Rock on! No, we don't have anything like that. All we do is just drink that. Anyway. Um, don't worry, somebody else will pick that up. <laughs> Today, we have a very exciting piece for you to view. Wow, look at that. It is not a Western Electric telephone. What a bummer. It's an automatic electric monophone. <clears throat> and this automatic electric monophone is very unique. It has a locking handset. And for uh, those that wanted to talk on the phone, such as the Navy, or somebody else that had it, somebody that's lucky that has a, a yacht, or a boat, or a ship, or a seaworthy vessel, the waves would cause a telephone to rock back and forth, and the handset would come off the phone, and thus would seize dial tone, and there's just nothing else worse than sailing on the ocean and having your phone go into an off-hook, busy emergency signal. <laughs> So, there was a need for that, where there is a need, there is a solution, and Monophone Automatic Electric came up with this device that's a locking handset. So, when you want to talk on the phone, you lift up on the plunger, or the lever, excuse me, and lift <laughs> thus it, okay? You gotta get, the, I'll be honest, there's a little bit of use. I imagine that if somebody did this 300 times uh, over the course of a year, they'd probably get very used to it. Does it have dial tone? Don't know where the microphone is on the camera, sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, it comes with its own schematic in the base, and the base on the bottom does say monophone. Automatic electric 127156 is the indication. There are other indications on this phone, such as the dial, that have a 38, I believe, um, mark on it. Might be 36, 38, something like that. The dial's in very good shape. I'm going to show pictures of it on the ad that we're going to sell it for. This phone belongs to a very good friend of mine, Gary. Gary is my mentor of antique telephone collecting, so to speak. And uh, Gary's a really nice guy. Uh, he also collects different things, such as petrified wood. He has a really nice petrified wood collection. Unbelievable, honestly. But he has different phones, and he wanted to sell this one, so I said I'd bring it home and test it. When I brought it home, it does say straight line ringer on the schematics, and it didn't ring. So that's because the one side of the bell was hooked up to the yellow lead, which doesn't do anything, but did do something back when they had ringing generator on uh, ground. So one side ringing generator. So we set it up to go across the capacitor lead on one side and the other side was set up to the L1 or the tip side of the line. The phone is uh, pretty good. It does a good job as far as communications go on it. It uh, uh, works really well and uh, rings pretty good. Well, there's a call again, as usual. And isn't it amazing how that always works? Can't figure that out. Place is bugged. I think. So you lift up on the plunger like this. And just lift the headset. Hello. Hi, mom. <laughs> No, Mom, I'm in the middle of a YouTube video right now. I know, Mom. No, I know, I know. Mom, Mom, I'm no, I don't want to argue with you about the evil internet, okay? I don't think it's evil. I don't care. Not everyone thinks, Mom, can I talk to you about this later, please? Yeah. Okay. No. 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 Tell Grandpa to, not to do, tell Grandpa to get off the roof. Just tell him to get off the roof. Okay? Yes, Mom. Mom, Mom. Mom, Mom, I'll talk to you later. Mom, yes, Mom, I love you too, okay? Okay, bye. So, as you can see, 
it does ring. It's not the loudest ringer in the planet, but it does ring pretty good. Uh, it has that locky handset, like I mentioned. You obviously could tell what it's ringing. I'm going to lift the lever. I call it the plunger, sorry. Lift the lever. Hello? Mom. <laughs> no, come on. Mom, I know you're just... I know, okay, you're just driving with... I get... Yes, I love you too, Mom. I know. Don't worry. Okay. Talk to you later. Yes, Mom. I know. No, I know, Mom. No one's going to look at the video. I get it. Okay. <laughs> yes, Mom. It's a waste of time. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you later. Mom. Mom. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Uh, she's really at it today. So, anyway. Uh, where was I? Uh, it is a rotary dial. You must have rotary dials. POTS telephone service in order for this to work. The uh, label is original. This is a little loose. If you bend it or shake it, it will come off. Can I say, you know, there's things about phones when you go to rebuild them and test them. This things happen. It has its own schematic on the inside of it, the paperwork. It uh, has an original block. I didn't mess with this at all. Uh, could have put. Wait, let's get there. That way she won't call. <laughs> or interrupt it. it has this funky little connector on it. I, you know, yeah. I would have put a modular connector on here, but on the inside of this lead that goes to the inside of the base, it does say automatic electric on it. If that matters, this cord is the original cord. I've uh, reconditioned that cord. It came out really nice. The phone really looks good. I mean, you could tell from, you know, it, it, you know, it's, it was made for uh, sailing on the seas, I guess. And for other people, maybe you didn't want your kid using the phone when they were a little toddler or something like that. So there's maybe another use there somewhere. Who knows? There you have it. Monophone. Automatic electric. Yours. It would look good in your uh, living room or your bedroom. And it would look good in your telephone collection. From a museum standpoint, I would rate it on a 1 to 10 basis. I would rate it about a 7. On a collectability basis of collecting telephones for over 30 years, I would rate it on a 9. It's I have not seen a whole lot of these, so that that would be my my best guess on it. Well, hopefully I didn't say basically too much, and hopefully I didn't say um all the time, which I probably did. But I do appreciate you watching Telco Steve's workbench. It's a funny little workbench, but that's where we do our work, and that's how it goes. So thank you for watching Telco Steve's Workbench.